believe it or not. We're recruiting for Crows Against Shinra. Let's take back the seed for Junon. <laughs> Huh? You're not looking to throw down, are you? Sorry, but I was just about to leave port. Oh, named Isabel, by the way. Was looking for a challenge, but failed miserably. Since this place was a total bust, I figured I ought to try my luck elsewhere. Although, maybe you can put up a decent fight. What do you say? One round of QB before I set sail?
Took the wind right out of my sails. And there I was thinking my ship was unsinkable. Happy to be proven wrong, though. Especially by a real pro. Glad we could get that match in before I moved on. With all that pent-up frustration, <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to think or sail straight. Thanks for clearing my head. I'm gonna stick around a bit longer. Just enough to swab the deck once more. Elevators are only way up, but Rhonda won't thank us if we storm it. Freaking bullshit. She wasn't kidding when she said it was well guarded. Got any other ideas? Oh, yes! Some fishing village this is. Ain't even allowed to take a rowboat out. Shinra's saying it's only a temporary prohibition. But people gotta eat. Anyway, short of stealing a boat and causing a scene, both us and our black robed friends are SOL. Hello there. Room for one. Help! Somebody, please! Help! <laughs> Anybody, please! That sword. You're some kind of fighter, aren't you? That was Priscilla. And from the sound of it, she needs a tough guy like you to lend a hand. We gotta go! Now! There's a monster attacking the boat! This way! Down here! She Quickly! Okay. Please! Bring back! Here, 
me. She's breathing. Hey, we need help over here. God, she's so cold. Somebody, help! We 
I need to get a breathing again. Maybe someone should go find a doctor? There's no time. Somebody! Help! I need to get a breathing again. God, she's so cold. I need to get a breathing again. Somebody! Help! Maybe someone should go find a doctor? There's no time. I need to get a breathing again. Somebody! Help! God, she's so cold. Maybe someone should go find a doctor? There's no time. Somebody! Help! Don't just stand there, help me! You're on chest compressions. Got it. Now, start! Uh guys there are from the Splinter Cell. Splinter Cell? They used to be with Avalanche, but left after a policy dispute. <sighs> Easy. They're guests of mine. And this one was trying to save your life. He was? Ugh, nice going, Yuffie. Call the guy a creep, why don't ya? You big moron! Dum -dum 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 <laughs> okay, Yuffie. Let's get you inside. You've had a rough day. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Psst. Not to be that guy, but kids these days, I swear. Now, now. Who is that? Another one of my guests. I seem to get a lot of them when the world's on fire. We really need to shut that reactor down. Wow, that didn't face her at all. Oh, well, would you look at that? I finally hooked a catch, and a good one, too. Bet you thought you could blow me out of the water just because I'm getting on in years, hmm? Well, think again. I'm this town's ace angler, Zogar, and I've caught much bigger QB fish than you, Sonny. I tell you that much. You young'uns can thrash all you like, but you'll never beat my years of experience.
goodness me. This makes you the one that got away. Serves me right for looking down on you just because you're young. Queen's blood is a lot like fishing, you know? Gotta be patient, wait for the right moment, then reel them in. Time it wrong, and you'll be watching your victory swim away. <sighs> Just look what happened to me. Guess I had a bigger catch on my hands than I thought. <sighs> I should have been more careful. Ocean's real quiet today. Too Kids allowed in here. No grown ups. I'm so glad she wasn't hurt. Ocean's real. You guys are that avalanche splinter cell, right? Now, how the hell did you... I just gotta say, I'm a big, huge fan of yours. HQ wishes they could be as cool as you guys. <sighs> well, uh, we are pretty cool, but... Think we could sit down for a chat later? Got a teensy favor to ask. And gotta thank you for before. Uh, I suppose you could come by the inn tomorrow? Sweet! You won't be sorry! Promise! Later! Um... I know, I know, she laid it on pretty thick. But hey, she's just a kid. What's the harm in hearing her out? Maybe she wants your autograph. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's get ourselves some rooms. in the heroes of the hour. I heard about what you did for that girl. Thank you so much. Your stay is on us. We insist. It's the least we can do for you, really. Now then, how many we got? Will four rooms be enough? <clears throat> uh, could you make it five? Five it is. Oh, everything is comped. So if you need anything at all, just ask. Don't know about you. But I'm dying to put my feet up. It's nice to have the place booked up again for once. Gosh, when was the last time that happened? Hmm. Mm. open.
Hey, so about that Yuffie kid, what do you think she wants with us? Be honest. Maybe she wants to join Avalanche. Normally, I wouldn't turn anyone away, but she's just too young. Don't have the time or patience to babysit. I'll break it to her gentle. I could feel them slipping away, one by one, and the tighter I held on, the more I lost. I know. I felt the same. It was like they were sucking them straight out of my head. And the worst part is that I don't even know what's missing. Only that something is. Like it's on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't remember. Damn whispers. Speaking of, have you seen them lately? <laughs> Cloud. Who's in there with you? Oh. Hmm. Red. Thought it was someone else. Nope. All clear here, officer. Well, hope the rest of your patrol is just as uneventful. Feels like we've been on the road forever, like Midgar's ancient history. I wonder how Mom and Marlene are holding up. Homesick? Mm -mm. No time for that, not with Sephiroth around. Mm. So, a little random, but do you remember the first time we met? You shoved a flower in my face. It's called a gift, Cloud. I saw it, you know. In a vase, at 7th Heaven. And I seriously doubt you're the one who put it there. Hey, I mean, you never know. Some advice? Never re-gift a present from a girl. Especially if you're just gonna give it to another one. Noted. Water under the bridge. But next time... fish and brine. Should Shinra come calling, I doubt I'll smell them till it's too late. We'll manage. <laughs> it feels like I have fish bones in my nose. timing. I was just about to come find you. Yeah, I... <sighs> you... Regret what I said in calm. Oh. Come in. I should have never doubted you. It's fine. I never should have doubted you either. Say, do you remember a guy named Emilio? From Nibelheim? The general store kid? Yeah. <sighs> anyway, he left the village right before you did. I thought I'd never see him again. 
Then one day last year, he shows up at Seventh Heaven. I couldn't believe my eyes. He was all... grown up. Didn't even recognize him at first. Really? Yeah, and what's more, the woman who walked in with him was stunning. Like, she could have been a model, and... <sighs> You're... not interested, are you? Not really. But I I'm happy to listen, so go ahead. It's okay. Forget it. Was this another test? No, it wasn't. I... <sighs> Why deny it? I guess it was, huh? I'm sorry. It's fine. We'll find time to talk. Just the two of us. Figure things out. Just be ready to spill your guts, huh? <laughs> With my iron stomach? <laughs> Night. I'll turn in early tonight. that the gang's all here. It's time you got to know me. My name is Yuffie, Materia Hunter and Elite Ninja Operative for the interim Wutai government. I left my beloved homeland behind to bring an end to Shinra's reign of terror and prove that Wutai's not to be trifled with. S -s -s mm. <sighs> Wutai? Yep. Which brings me to that little favor I mentioned yesterday. Long story short, I want you to join me. HQ, they just didn't understand. But you guys get it. <sighs> Don't ninjas creep around in the dark slitting people's throats. I mean, we've done some shit, but we ain't about to stoop that way. I resent that. <laughs> Although, that is something we do. Traveling alone so far from home is expensive. So I've been moving from town to town, hustling, scraping together enough scratch to keep sticking it to the man. Until, that is, I came here. And lucky I did, because I met Rhonda. She offered me the gig of a lifetime, an assassination. And guess who the target is? Seriously, guess. <sighs> 
Just spit it out already. Who else but a certain company's new president, Rufus freaking Shinra! That crazy or what? And that douchebag will be here any minute now. Up there here anyway. Enjoying his fancy inauguration parade. These people had their country stolen from them, and then their sunlight. Junon demands revenge. So when the president steps out... Oh, wow. Tell us more. Mm. Okay. You want to know how Rhonda's planning on paying me? With your bounty suckers. What? Wow, got a hand it to her. The lady works fast. Well, this was fun. See ya. Hey! <laughs> If you manage to get away, you should try to find Priscilla. She'll get you topside. <laughs> now, now! You don't want to make me come in there and fetch you, because I would love to do it! Who's that? A pain in the ass. Let's go. Honestly, how long do you intend to keep me waiting? Absence certainly makes the heart grow fonder, my friend. <laughs> Still playing hard to get, eh? Well, I've got news for you, young man. As if by fate, the Speed Demon has been entrusted with a singular task. Retrieving one Aerith Gainsborough. Me? You come alone? <laughs> it only takes two to tango. Besides, you and I like to go big, and a venue this small just won't do. But no need to worry. I found the perfect stage. The city above, where we can dance up a storm. Seek me out, and we'll put our last performance to shame. With a show none shall ever forget. <laughs> you got some weird friends, man. We might want to think about getting out of here. These people don't need more trouble. Yuffie said to talk to Priscilla if we wanted to get topside, right? Let's go find her. Thanks for dealing with that Shinra nut job. Don't you think for even a second we did that for you? The slime ball who sold us out. Take it. Not much, but it's yours. The hell's this supposed to be? <laughs> Your bounty. Part of it, anyway. You thought I'd put you through the ringer like that without making it worth your while? We're on the same side. Always have been. And what if Biker Boy had taken us in? Then I would have had to improvise. But I didn't, because it all worked out. Worked out fine. Like I pray it will for Yuffie upstairs. came looking for Avalanche.
Welcome. Need some rooms? Since you clearly don't have anything better to do, think I could put you to work? The remainder of your bounty. I need it delivered to someone. I've already got a porter picked out, too. This here is Salmon. Since he'll be the one making the drop, it's your job to get him there safe. Huh. Doesn't seem like too much of a hassle, but who exactly is this money for? My son. Haven't seen him in a spell. Not since he left town. I never looked back. This gills me washing my hands of him. He's a grown man. Can't be clinging to his mom's skirts. Or her pocketbook. The crow's nest. Boy got sick of living under this steel sky. And my thumb, I suppose. So he went into the mountains way east of here. Found some more like-minded idiots. Kinda sad, if I'm being honest. If you're gonna run away, at least go somewhere interesting. Don't half-ass it. Much obliged. Once you make it to the crow's nest, find Toby. He'll make sure you get the reward I promised. But if I find a single hair out of place on Sam, you won't live to enjoy it. You keep my boy safe. Don't you worry. Any monster that wants to get you is gonna have to go through me. Hey Cloud, remind me. How old were you when you left home? Fourteen. Wait, I'm spring, so... Thirteen. Suppose that ain't too unusual for small town boys like you. What'd your mom have to say? Not much. Didn't try to stop me. Like you said, nothing unusual about it. But... But... 2,000 gil. She offered me that. To make a fresh start. <laughs> Guess moms are the same all over. I turned the money down, though. Didn't need it, since I was planning to enlist straight away. <laughs> but you still can't help setting your price to two grand. Sentimental, ain't you? How'd you like that? You ain't getting out of here! Oh, <laughs> 
Junon is home to the summoned entity Phoenix. Though a freak is often associated with fire, Phoenix's flames are no less potent. In fact, the conflagrations of this undying bird are said to imbue those in touches with renewed life. Perhaps it will offer you its grace. Oh, <laughs> 